Welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I wanted to do a review today of just the beautiful greenish inks that I've been using lately. And one of the ones that I've been using quite a bit has been this one in my Pilot Custom Heritage 74, and it is Seal Row. And so I don't think I've done any kind of a review on this ink, but I wanted to do it because I have been thinking about this year and just what I've been using quite a bit. And Seal Row just keeps coming back up. I don't know if it's the one that I've used the most, so just stay tuned for that video. But I know that in the last few months, I've taken copious amounts of notes with this ink color. And so I wanted to share this with you at the end of the year here um, and just give you a comparison of different inks. So the ink today is Orochizuku Seo Ro, and I'm using my Pilot 74, and it is a fine nib, which I should have put here. It's Tomoe River paper, there is no bleed. Even on bad paper, there's no bleed. We'll do the shading in just a little bit, but let's go ahead and use, take a look at the dry time. And for zero, there is just a little bit. Five, 10. I, the zero should have been a lot more, so that means I didn't get enough ink down, but that's okay, There's there's that. And let's do a writing sample. And then we will do a water test. And let me tell you, I use this ink a lot for work. So I've got my tea right next to me or my water and I have spilled water on my notes. So it's good to do a water test to see what might end up. And so we are gonna do, let's do some comparisons here. And what's what? So the first one's gonna be Seal Row. And the next one I have is going to be a greenish ink as well. We'll just wait a minute for that. I don't know what I was doing earlier. I've got all these things with swabs. There's the first pass. Second, I really want you to be able to see some sheen on this. So put a little bit more down here. so pretty all right and I have Sukiyo as well and uh, let's try that one right. so this is another ink that I love to use it has this gorgeous you can can you see the sheen on the bottle? You can, it's just, it's a pretty, pretty ink, really pretty. There's that. And then this one I have, because of, you know, holiday colors in my Twisby AL. So we're gonna write this one down and this is Shin Ryoku. And so we're just basically doing three comparisons of Aroshizuku inks. That one I know I had on the swab, so I'm just reusing it. I was playing with these a little bit earlier. There we go. Okay, so just beautiful, beautiful inks and oh yeah. It's gonna jot this one down. Just use my dip pen. Nice thing is that you get a chance to just review all three inks in here. 
All right, so I have all three here and I wanted you to be able to see this seal row also with more of like a medium nib. So we're gonna do a glass dip pen on this. I'm way down on the paper, let me put that up. There we go. So there's the glass dip and you can see a little bit of a difference between the way that looks and the way this looks and it's just beautiful and I'll do that with the shading up here too. Let's see if you can see some. Got a ton of ink on this pen. Okay, so we're just gonna let that dry, hopefully. Yep, no bleed, that's good. All right, and in the meantime, I am gonna drip some water on here and see uh, what happens. So on the water test, as I mentioned earlier, I have been trying this out with my notes, not on purpose, but just because sometimes you're just working and you are not paying attention to what you're doing. And that is definitely me. So in the water test, you can actually see the word water still written there and you can still see the lines pretty well. So it's holding up pretty well in uh, using that so anyway I don't know if you can see the sheen on this can you see it not yet hmm well I wanted you to be able to see the sheen whoa I think that is still going there so you can see it in the Sukiyo for sure oh there it is yep you can see it now all right and then you can also see that there's some shading even within the swab as well as up here while that's still drying. All right, so this is a beautiful ink. It has a just a, a lovely presence to it. This is a cream colored paper. It writes just as as beautifully on white paper. Here's my my list. You can see what it looks like in the um, just on white paper, but on the cream it looks exceptionally beautiful and just gives you. Um, a really nice color very pleasant to the eyes and uh, so if this is something that you have been using or you've been thinking about would you just you know I I, I do these videos not just for myself um, I mean I kind of do them for myself because I get get a chance to look back and see you know what I've been using and what I like and what I don't like but I also think it's really important to like share your own experience with this and let me know like have you been using this ink is this something that you have been wanting or maybe you have a different variety of the Roshizuku or maybe there's one that you would like me to try out for you would you just you know I might even have it I, I ended up getting a big bunch of it at a thrift store they had all of these Erosha Zuku is not all of them, but they had about five bottles just sitting there in the perfume area, which I can see how that can look like a perfume. Um, so let me let me show you how this was. I have the boxes still. That's what it looked like. And so I don't know who was dumping it, but anyway, I ended up getting almost like a lottery win um, out of that. And so I was pretty darn excited. So anyway, if you have some inks, if you want me to, to try out some inks, especially a Roshizuku, let me know. And also let me know what you think of these colors, which is the one that you are most drawn to and um, why I'd love to hear from you until then. Bye-bye.